Hello and welcome. Today we are presenting on 4NBT1. Today we are looking at how to understand the place value of our numbers. We know that each number has a value. So say we pick the number 2934. We look at each of these digits and know that they each have a value. We start with our ones. This four is in the ones column. So we say we have four ones. The three is in the tens column. So we have three tens. The nine is in the hundreds column. So we have nine hundreds. And the two is in the thousands column. So we have 2000. The two is a 2000. The nine is a 900, the three is a 30, and the four is a four. But in grade four, you are learning much larger numbers. You are learning numbers in the million. So why don't we pick a number in the millions? This number is 2,934,120. Each digit has a value. Let's look at it. We start in the ones and we say there are three ones. Then in the tens, we have two tens. In the hundreds, we have one hundred. In the thousands, we have four thousands. So we say four thousand. In the tens of thousand, we have three tens of thousands. In the hundred thousand, we have nine hundred thousand. And in the millions, we have two million. Each of these digits are worth a different amount. Even though we just see them singly, they're actually worth a different amount. The three, the two is actually 20. The one is actually a hundred. The four is a thousand, four thousand. The three is thirty thousand. The nine is nine hundred thousand. And the two is worth two million. Let's look at the value of these numbers, but we're going to pick a smaller number. The number 2934. Each of these digits is worth a value. And we start at the ones. Now, I've used smiley faces to show you how much they're worth. I hope this helps. In the ones column, we have a four, and each of these smiley faces is going to be worth a different value depending on which column they're in. So this smiley face is actually only worth one. So we can count one, two, three, four. And we say we have four ones. 